Hey guys, in this video, I will show you some project plan I have. You guys may already know I created the uh, EN01. This one is uh, uh, very popular. A lot of people like this one. They purchase the um, part from the uh, link of this video. They build the, this one by themselves. They give me a lot of feedback. So if you guys are still interested with this device, you can purchase a link and do it by yourself. Uh, I want to do more uh, improvements for this one. So I think I could put the Raspberry Pi on the top of this one. Then we could use the um, voice control, use the OpenAI real-time API. We use the Raspberry Pi to connect the OpenAI real-time API and uh, do the uh, voice command do the function call and get this device turn left and turn right, ask this device turn right, turn left. You don't need the mobile app to control this one or even use the uh, web page to control this one, just use your voice. This is a very good idea for uh, for this project. It comes from with one of my subscribers. But I found this is uh, very large. This Raspberry Pi is very large and if you put over here, you will add more weight and uh, it will look very ugly. So I uh, I discarded this uh, idea on this device. But I have another project which is ESO2. ES means education small. This is EN means education nano. So this device, this is a new project I'm still working on. This project, uh, you could use the remote, uh, remote controller to control this one. And uh, this is the perfect size to put a Raspberry Pi over here. So you could use the voice control for this device. Uh, the first time I want to use a Raspberry Pi, but the Raspberry Pi don't have a lot of AI uh, capability. So I decided to use the uh, NVIDIA uh, Jetson Nano, but that one is very difficult to order the latest one, the Jetson Orion Super. That one, I ordered one uh, and January, but right now I still not get that. I call the provider, they say uh, they still don't have the device uh, in stock. So finally, I decided to move to, I find this device. This device is uh, RDKX5. So this come with uh, uh, 10 uh, TOPS because I uh, besides the OpenAI real-time API, I still want to use some uh, OpenCV uh, uh, feature or use some Python code to do the OpenAI, like do the object track and more uh, feature to this device. So I decided to have a better uh, device and this device is compatible with the uh, Raspberry Pi. So uh, you could use Raspberry Pi as well as use this one. You don't need to change the software because they are compatible. So this video is a kind of like a, a overview uh, video. I will talk about my uh, project plan. And the first one will uh, just look into the feature of this device. So I will uh, open this one and uh, look into more detail about uh, uh, this device. It's uh, pretty much like an open box video. Yeah, let's take a look at uh, this device. Okay. okay, let's start. So let's open this one. It's come with very good packing. This is the main device. Uh, it's come with a little sticker. Uh, I don't think this is very helpful. Uh, I will put the specification link to my uh, video so you guys could uh, take a look as well as the documentation for this uh, device. Okay, some uh, dryer pack. I don't think we need this one. Let's put this away. Uh, let's look at the first look is very nice. It's very is good uh, quality for this one. Uh, if we compare uh, this with Raspberry Pi, you will see the size almost the same. It's almost identical. You can see, almost identical. Yeah. Let's uh, start from this side. It come with one uh, internet uh, um, port, one gigabit uh, internet port, and uh, four uh, USB three port. 
you can see the color is blue, that means it's a USB 3, but uh, the port is uh, interface is type A. So this 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 is this side. Let's go back to this one. This side is come with uh, 40 pin, 28 uh, GPIO. So it's compatible with Raspberry Pi. So if you have some application developed by the Raspberry Pi, you could be it will be very easy to uh, move to this board. Uh, this is the uh, uh, KFD port, uh, which is very helpful for, for the uh, board development. So um, okay, let's go back to uh, this side. You have one uh, HDMI port. This one you could connect to your 4K monitor, like a regular monitor. You have one um, 3.5 uh, headphone jack. This one, I will use this one for my OpenAI real-time API. So I will use this to connect the voice. So you can use your voice to control this device. Okay. Let's go back to another side. Uh, this come with two USB uh, Type C port. I think one of them are USB USB two. So um, this one is uh, this one also USB two port is kind of like a legacy one. It's a debug port. You could use this one um, for the debug purpose. Yeah, and use one of this to uh, program the application. This one for the debug. So okay. Let's go uh, the back end. In the back side, you have um, one port. This port is for the LCD uh, panel. So you could put your LED panel uh, to this device by connecting this uh, port. This SD card is not. Yeah, uh, the device is not um, come with the uh, SD card, so you could purchase a separate, separately. Okay. Uh, let's come to this side. Okay, you have the this is the reset button. Uh, this is the Wi-Fi six is not Wi-Fi five is Wi-Fi six, so it's much better than the previous version. Um, okay, this one is PoE power supply. Uh, this one you have two uh, camera ports because the AI capability for this one is ten T O P S. It's almost twice than RDK3. Yeah, SDK3 is, uh, no, RDK3 is uh, come with uh, five TOPS, but this one come with 10. So it's twice the uh, RDK3. Um, yeah, this is a memory right now. My version is a 4G um, version. You can get a eight gigabit uh, version. Yeah, it's a, overall, it's a very nice device. I will use this one for my, uh, for my ESO2 uh, bot and uh, implement the real-time API, use the voice to control the, my bot, which will be very uh, interesting. Okay, thank you. That's it.